About 100,000 children in Ukraine are believed to be orphans, and that was before the war. Many in dire need of food and medicine tonight. There's a family in Mercer County that's trying to help. News 12 New Jersey's Nick Medanis joins us live tonight from Hamilton. And Nick, this mission is personal. Yeah, Kurt, the first giveaway here is the house. The colors of the Ukrainian flag lighting up this quiet neighborhood. These Ukrainian orphans, they had nowhere to go. The government didn't evacuate them. So when Russia started bombing, just like everyone else, they were forced to hide. They're sleeping in basements that have dirt on the floors while their orphanages are being bombed. They've heard it straight from the kids. Over the holidays, opening their home and hearts to two of those Ukrainian orphans. They were super fun and they were a joy and I love them so much. I really wanted Ruslana to stay. Ruslana is 12, her brother Sasha 10. The Mejias served as their host family for a month and that was before the war. They've been staying connected through messages like these, having a chilling impact on their host mom. Mom, we're at war. Mom, there's bombs. It's frightening. Even though they're not my biological children, they're part of our family since the day they came in here. The Mejias have been considering adoption. Farah says it's something she's always wanted. An older child who is forgotten. Everybody wants a baby. No one wants the older child. In part, she says, because of the trauma that follows. At the least, they're hoping to host the kids again this summer, maybe even with their third sibling, five-year-old Dasha. Until then, others in town with big hearts are coming together to plan a fundraiser, trying to help in any way, as it becomes harder to communicate overseas. And then it's been radio silence. I haven't been able to talk to the kids. You know, the news titles yesterday were Sumi heavy airstrikes. The kids were living in Sumi, Kurt, under heavy attack. We just got word late tonight they were finally evacuated and are believed to be safe tonight, Kurt, at least for now. Well, let's hope that is true. Uh, information about a fundraiser, by the way, can be found in the numbers and links section. Heartwarming story tonight, Nick. Thank you.